Let's do it. Okay. All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is, uh, you already know, this is uh, Billionaire Brown, um, and I'm here with a very needed guest. I would say special, but it's a very needed guest. And yeah, absolutely. Uh, you might as well say, hey, say hello to everybody, Talina. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right. Welcome. This is Talina's, uh, you could check Talina out at Talina's Fitness um dot com talina is also on instagram are you also on facebook facebook with the same title talina's fitness all right where else are you are you anywhere else we need to know um, about also on youtube and twitter um you can also find me the link on talina's fitness um i have a couple of other apps but those are the main ones that i use all right cool and you're you're on you you have a youtube channel i do i'm starting to use it finally <laughs> okay what should we expect to see on your youtube channel you're going to see my upcoming events on uh, my first competition. And uh, this is a big deal for me because it's something I've always wanted to do in the back of my head. I was like, oh, one day I might do that, but never had the confidence to do it. And I finally did it. So you'll see my upcoming events on um, my preparation for the competition and how I feel and how I look. So it's pretty awesome. I'm still putting it together, but it'll be up there soon. All right. Excellent. And um, for those who don't aren't familiar with Talina's fitness, uh, Talina provides personal assessments, custom training routine, corrective exercises, bodybuilding training. I got to ask you something about that corrective exercises. Um, she also does weight loss training, uh, body conditioning, group training, calisthenics. Um, do you... Um, well, I want to go back to the corrective exercises for a second, but I'm interested to know, does your train, do you have to be in person for your training or do you also do um, virtual training as well? I do virtual training. I call it um, coaching, actually. Um, I charge less than that. I recommend that mostly for people who are already kind of advanced or just want to have a flow of a workout routine so that they can follow and I meet with them once a month, depending on their location. Um, if they're out of the state, is virtual. And we discuss how the workout went, how they feel. Um, I have them do the measurements and I can see them visually, what, which makes it a little easier. Um, and then I also do one-on-one. -on -one, but for uh, the most part, what I've been doing lately, and I have a lot of Spanish um, people coming to me with this too. They want me to... Tu hablas español? Hablo español, sí. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was born here, but yes, I'm Dominican. Okay. Um, my Spanish is like Spanglish, but it's there. <laughs> I, can still, I can still work my way around. Me hablas español es muy poquito. Muy, muy, muy poquito. <laughs> okay, that's good. It can take you somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My family's from, uh, well, my mother's side of the family's from Panama. So oh, wow. everybody speaks fluent Spanish except me and my sister, which is kind of weird. Ah, uh, so is it the way you were raised or? Yeah, that's how we was raised. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's what happens. You kind of lose it. Uh -huh. If you don't lose it, and that goes with everything, everything, including fitness. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I do coaching online. Um, I do an assessment with them, um, I'm asking them questions, seeing what they're looking for, and depending on their level. So I either do a video demonstration of what I want them to do in certain workouts, depending on the workout style. Um, but I do give them a list uh, of a workout list um, of exactly what to do and how many reps and the rest time and everything. And the one thing I tell my clients is very important. And I know a lot of people like to work out with other people. They're like, uh, you know, with their sisters or best friend or whomever. But everybody's body is different. So with my clients, I specifically tell them that the workout is based on their body type. Um, and for their goals too, because not everyone's goal is the same. Mm. So their workouts are, are slightly different. So if they're working with a partner, it's two individual clients that I have. And sometimes I give them two different workouts. I try to keep it the same if they're working out together, but ultimately it's two different workouts. Okay, dope. And I do want to go back to that corrective exercises um, in a second, but I also, I just noticed something that I wanted to touch on because I work with a lot of people um, internationally and domestically. And one of the main things you hear from women specifically is that, you know, they can't, um, they can't still be feminine and they can't, you know, they don't want to work out because their hair is going to get sweated out or they can't do their nails because they got to <laughs> go to the gym. You've heard this before. Right? I, those to me, those are excuses. Right. So I just noticed, obviously your hair is slayed and laid to the side. There you go. 
And I also noticed that your nails um, is nicely done. So what would you like, what, what can you say to, do you have a message for women who do believe that? Is it like a dirty. If your nails break, you could always fix them. They grow back. If your hair is dirty, you could always wash it. It's, it's, those are just excuses. And I hear that from a lot of other females, like, oh, I don't want to sweat. When you, you don't realize is you have to sweat. If you don't sweat, you're not detoxifying your body. You know, sweating is actually really good for you in many, many reasons why it's good for you. Not only detoxifying your body, but it also softens your skin. So females, if you want a soft skin, you have to sweat. <laughs> um, and don't worry about the hair. You can always take a blow dryer, get it done. Your nails, forget if it breaks. My nails break all the time. The only reason they're long now is because I maintained it for the competition so I don't look like a bum (laughs) but ultimately your nails will always break they'll grow um if you're really into fitness all these little things shouldn't really matter um I also have people say well I have a two-year-old they need me I need to be there blah blah blah. you only need one hour of your time to go to the gym it's only four percent of your day you have to make time for yourself without making these type of excuses. Yeah, and a lot of fitness, um, to add on to that, a lot of fitness uh, facilities now, they even have places where you could keep your kids for yes. one. And the other thing is um, a lot of uh, companies, like with, with your health insurance, a lot of insurance plans actually reimburse or um, pay for it just flat out. Yes, they do. So there are no excuses, no excuses. This moment is not about tap water, nor your favorite bottled water. This is about alkaline water. Call a distributor today to discuss finance options. 1-800-660-9431. Change your water, change your life. Now back to your favorite podcast.